the end of the war is unleashing a wave of emotions in some Valley veterans, including a sense of confusion, anger, even despair. Now organizations dedicated to helping service members when they come home want them to know they are not alone. Whitney Clark has more from Veterans Oasis Park in Chandler, where a vigil was held tonight. Dozens of people met here at the park in Chandler tonight for a candlelight vigil in honor of those 13 U.S. service members that were killed in Kabul just last week. The crowd also included members of a local group who aimed to fill that emptiness that can often creep in after combat. <laughs> When surrounded by others but lost in a crowd, it's this orange shirt that leads to a friend. I want all the veterans out there to know that you need to check in before you check out, that you need to keep fighting. That's Cass Fachaponte, an Army combat veteran who served in Afghanistan and co-founder of Operation Shockwave, a nonprofit dedicated to preventing military and veteran suicide. We like to think out of the box because what everyone is doing is obviously not working. There's 22 plus veterans and active duty service members dying every day. The orange shirts represent the emotional support team at big events so veterans know who to talk to at a time when the exit from Afghanistan is bringing up old feelings and fears. There is a sense of my service, you know, while I was deployed, is it all for naught? And I would tell veterans it isn't. And this group is not alone. Tucked away in a Mesa neighborhood is survivors of war. Um, it's been a monsoon when it comes to the veteran community. Um, there's been a uptick in suicide calls and anxiety, post-traumatic stress being triggered. Founder of the nonprofit, Shannon Dunnigan, says calls for help have gone up 30% in the last few weeks. As someone who served in the Marine Corps for 10 years, including Afghanistan, he understands the pain. I put rounds down range men, women, and children, and to come back home and sit in a house where I have my wife and I had my kids at the time um, was very hard for me because I didn't feel worthy. The group offers golf, jujitsu, and much more. Operation Shockwave also offering a community. We send them over to fight, and when they come back, we need to be prepared for what that looks like because they're not the same. I was not the same. We have a link up right now to some of these services these organizations offer up on our website. That's azfamily.com. If you or someone you know needs help, you can reach the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-8255. That number is on the bottom of your screen. In Chandler, Whitney Clark, Arizona's Family.